welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an attempt at customizing a M Audio Keystation Pro 88. Um, it's you can barely see it. <laughs> well, it's in pieces back there, but this is the main um, the main board. Normally, normally it's covered in silver, and then this guy is in here sits underneath it it's got and then it's got the controller stuff underneath that so the silver was all wrinkled and junky so i stripped it off completely and i'm going to get creative and attempt to put this really cool pattern on it so the biggest problem is it only comes in five foot Five foot lengths. I'm trying to stay over here where the microphone is. Um, and it just barely reaches the ends. So we will uh, <laughs> we will see how this goes. There's probably going to be a lot of editing in this. So you may see a lot of trims in the video because I've used vinyl wrap, but not this kind of stuff, which is more like a... I mean, you would probably make a purse out of this or wallpaper. So let's read the instructions on the. Well, here. On the 3M spray. Reproductive harm. Well, that's never good. Directions. <laughs> the directions are the smallest text on the bottle. That is hilarious. Shake well. Turn nozzle so it points to dot on can rim. All right. Um, I'm actually not going to spray this on camera because I have equipment all over. So I'm going to move this out of the way and spray it and bring it back over here. Oh boy. I need to get my fingers all the way at the ends. Oh, all right. <laughs> Close call. Oh, I did not even see if that was straight. All right. It seems straight. Okay. The one tool I forgot was my little squeegee. Probably have to spray the the sides on this again, but let's see. Let me flip it over. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty straight. And this I'll have to cut. Well, I can wrap it underneath, but it may be too thick to wrap completely. Well, this is sticking. Yeah, I'll have to spray the inside one more time because I need to cut it to shape first. And I need to spray the bottom here. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I might need to spray this and then sand it down to make it fit because um, it's got to fit into the other frame, which I seem to have misplaced at the moment. All right. It's definitely staying stuck though, so that's good. Um, and this is a table I don't much care about, so let me get my blade. All right. So I'm going to let me see this. I'm going to basically just cut out and around. I'm not even caring about being straight right now. I just need to get a shape general shape I'm trying to do this with a microphone in front of me let me move the mic real quick
corners are the only part I'm really worried about. Let me get this out of the way. Trying to decide. All right, so usually. Yeah, see, it's going to separate. I didn't think that through, did I? Well, this is on the inside, so go ahead. This is probably not going to stay. Well, it might. But I'll have to patch a little piece of that. I'm just cutting the yeah, angle on the corner. These edges will actually be pinched into the case. Uh, I think at least some of them. So, but still, have to make sure. Oh, it is sticking pretty well. well. Let me go ahead and do the other side over here. And then, like I like I said, I'll have to fill it in behind it. I don't really know if I can take a heat gun to this. I might when I try to round the corners and see what it does, but we'll see. to fit. Yeah, I, don't, I think my sticky tack is starting to run out. So there's my spray. I'm going to do a light spray over here. I'll let it dry for a second. It's the rounded corners that I'm the most worried about. These here. And this oh, it does reach. <laughs> Just hopefully. I believe the bottoms of these are covered. So it's this corner I'm worried about. Uh, well, let's, let's do this. I'll do like a little triangle around the corner. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have to do a heat gun on this corner. I'm just gonna leave it for now. So let me slide this down to the other side and give it a quick, uh, let me cut it first. Right. Quick little spray. Probably should have made sure that was upright and shook it, but oh well. Leave that sit for a second. Okay. <laughs> Gonna have to wash the table off. I wasn't thinking about that. And so it's all sticky now. I'll deal with that. Okay. I 
other than these corners, this went on smoother than the vinyl wrap did, but let's see what the other side looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Well, I might not need to patch this corner because that is where the uh, that's where the piece sits. All right, it's just those rounded ends that I'm going to have to deal with. Right. Yeah. Now, the corner, I did not think through... Yeah, I don't really want... All right, I'm going to be very careful here. I think... I think, I think... I'm going to try to do... an actual seam. Yeah, it's not looking round, that's for sure. All right. Hang on. Probably burn my hands on this. Well, it's not my best work. I don't know if it'll stay or if I need to peel it up and spray it again. Is just holding it. I'll get a close up of this in a second. It's not perfect, but it's uh, I think it'll work. All right, yeah, this is peeling a bit, maybe not. is definitely something new for me for sure I may have to sand these down because they may be too thick to uh I think I will have to sand it down. And this is another project. All right, so the corners, I may not have to worry about. They're right up there. It's not bad. Okay, let's set that aside. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way and spray a little more. Work on the other corner and then sand it so that it's not as thick on these. That or I, I mean, I guess I could trim it right to the edge. It's trapped underneath anyway. Yeah, that seems like a better idea. but I may still need to sand this part down. So let's, let's do this. Well, this cuts nice and easy, that's one thing. All right, I'm not sure.
I'll have to figure that one out. Okay. Um, I know this side, you can see it more when you put it into the frame. Kind of shows itself off, but it does sit down in a tiny bit. So it's going to need some kind of lip. So I probably will glue this side under. Um, this one, I'm going to trim. I don't know if that's working. There it goes. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess. That is a bit of a mess. Let me try these scissors. I don't have a ton invested in this board, so if this doesn't work, I'll just buy um, buy some vinyl wrap, but this is a cool experiment. So all right. finish this end let me figure out the corner on this one This edge is the side toward the player, but still, I don't want a giant. Let me see if I can stretch it some more. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay. Try not to burn my hand. down with something besides my fingers. Right, I'm off the camera again. Pull the GoPro a little closer. All right. Hang on. Am I gonna flap this one under? Yeah, I think I will. Okay. Let that dry. Be curious to see a professional installer watching me do this, like a someone who who uh, wraps amps for a living. Okay. 
Tolex. That is not. Gosh, there we go. Because they probably see all the mistakes I'm making when I'm doing this. There we go. I don't think I let that dry quick long enough. All right. I believe the bottom of this is covered. Boy, I sure hope it is, or we're gonna run into problems because of that. But it's not a perfect corner. But I figure somebody will use this like in a music video or something, or up on a stage, you won't really see the details. Okay, I need to figure out this corner too. I should let it get tacky first. Let's sit for a second. You can see my lousy cutting job. Well, it's oh, come on, it's sticking to my fingers now. It's not a half bad corner. Tiny bit of a bubble. Tiny bubble. But we'll see how it goes. Well, if anything, this will be my controller to show off. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can get a close up of that. Well, there's the, the rounded corner. And there's the uh, that corner and this corner. So. Not half bad. I don't think I'm going to video the other side. And then I'll come back when it's done. But I need to cut this at least some down some. Okay. Open the GoPro. You know what, I'm going to glue this and then cut it. Right. Let me spray this real quick. Right. Let that sit for a second. take anything away from this you should take away that sometimes it's fun to just try something even if you've never done it before I may be doing this wrong I don't know well I mean there may be a better way to do this I should say because it's definitely sticking but um, yeah it looks pretty cool <laughs> it's looking pretty cool Like I said, this is going to need sanding to make it fit. Oop. Yeah. Already that one doesn't. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I'm certainly going to hold it in there tight. So there you go. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to try to, let me try to get the M audio off of there with some, they tell you sugar works. All right, but it's definitely in there. Whether or not I can 
get it to screw down tight. <laughs> it will be another story. Uh, I don't know. I think I can. Probably shouldn't. Well, I'm going to leave it in there for now, but um, i got to work on polishing this. I'll take it out. I'll just be very careful. There we go. Okay, so I need to deal with this corner now. So this will be in here, underneath here. Carefully, carefully. Like that. Yeah, these edges worry me, but hang on. Yeah. All right, the corner will be, yeah, that'll work. Let's see. There. So they'll be covered. They sit pretty down, pretty darn far in, pretty far in. It's just this rounded end I need to fix. All right. All right, so let's see if I can sort of set this together without the keys under it. There we go. Let's see if I can get the GoPro far enough back. Get the whole thing. So there it is. If you want a close up, hang on. Here's what it looks like. Hopefully, I can get the green out of this. That'll be the next video. There you go. I am a little worried about the bottom corner on this. I'm going to have to definitely pull those tight. Because they, I think they just sit right on top. Uh, you probably can't even hear anything I'm saying because I forgot about the mic. Um, this right here. I think this just sits on top of the keys, so I'm going to have to be very careful and probably glue this extra, both of these little bottom corners. Because, um, yeah. I think they just literally sit right on top of the keys, or over just over the keys. But, not bad. Not bad. Not bad for my first try of customizing one of these. I think I'm going to order some custom knob and I've got to fix these. I'm going to tear off the underside of these because I, I ruined some of them in cleaning them. I actually disintegrated them. So I'm going to peel them off and put some, probably some black um, shielding underneath the dust shield. All right. I'm going to pause for now. We'll do part two which is trying to whiten this, uh, trying to whiten this and clean all the scratches off of it.